welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle Rohner, lover of all things keto and low carb, and we making chaffles today. Chaffles are an absolute staple in the keto and low carb world. They are a substitute for bread or bagels. Uh, they are delicious. One to two grams of net carbs, depending on what ingredients you use. Let's just get to it. We gotta do it three different ways today. So this is seriously the easiest recipe and I'm not kidding, it is so delicious. So we have two cheddar cheese and one mozzarella. I'm gonna make like a pizza one because these are so versatile. You can make them sweet or savory. You can add jalapenos and spices and I, I cannot say enough good things about chaffles. So you're gonna need one third of a cup of cheese of your choice. So like I said, I'm doing two cheddar and one mozzarella. So I have one third already in the cup. You're gonna do one egg each. One egg in. Okay, one egg in. <laughs> the last egg is in. And then one tablespoon of almond flour. And that's it, that's your base. So from here, you can jazz it up however you want. In the pizza one, I'm gonna do some garlic and Italian seasoning. Okay, in the first cheddar, I'm gonna do garlic and I love paprika. It's one of my favorite spices. I'm gonna do paprika in there. I don't usually add salt because the cheese is salty. And then I'm gonna add jalapenos to the glass. I'm gonna make a jalapeno cheddar one. Okay, so I actually didn't have jalapenos, but I'm gonna add some pepperoncinis. I think jalapenos would have been better, but hey. <laughs> okay, and then all you do is just mix those up. So I have done sweet chaffles, savory chaffles, spicy chaffles, all delicious. And this recipe makes two chaffles. So like if you're gonna have a sandwich, this will make two sides of bread. Does that make sense? So I like to use these for like hamburger buns. I honestly prefer them over um, like store-bought keto buns or keto bread. Okay, and let me teach you the ultimate trick to a crispy chaffle. Okay, so you got your batters. I always put a napkin under my little baby dash because it gets like icky, I don't know. Okay, so this is already hot. You're gonna spray with cooking spray. The trick to a crispy chaffle. Put cheddar cheese down first, or whatever cheese you had in that chaffle. So, a little bit of cheese. Hear it crisping up. Okay, half of your batter. Because like I said, it makes two chaffles. It's okay if it's a little messy. And then more cheddar cheese, okay? This is the part that gets crispy, trust me. Okay, then shut it. There you go. And I'm telling you, you're gonna die. Like you are gonna die. These are so good. So we just wait. So when the when the blue light goes off, that's when it's done. So if you like them extra crispy, you can cook them a little bit longer. Um, I tend to like them a little extra crispy. And don't overfill them. Trust me, because then it like really makes a mess. So these little baby dashes, I'll um, tag the information below. They're ten dollars on Amazon or Target or wherever, and I love them. They're so easy. Tiny, just like not a big kitchen appliance because my kitchen is not huge, and y'all, my husband will die if I buy one more kitchen appliance. So the baby dash was allowed to be in the house. Okay, so the light went off, the chocolate was ready. If there was smell of vision, you guys would die. Let me get it out. Oh, let's get a plate. <coughs> so be careful though, they are hot. Let's see. So you're just gonna continue this process. 
process for all of your travels. Okay, so on the pizza, mozzarella one, we're gonna add some pepperonis. So this can get a little bit messy, but it's okay, it's still delicious. So I spray the top again. I'm gonna add some pepperonis and then we'll shut it for just a little bit. You can do this in like the air fryer, like you can cook the chaffle, then do it in the air fryer, but I don't like to dirty two things. And I already got this out. So I just like to do it in here. It sticks sometimes a little bit to the top lid. That's why I spray it again. In fact, I'm gonna spray it again just to be extra careful. Um, but I'll take it sticking to the lid a little bit rather than dirtying my air fryer. <laughs> no? crispy chuffles. The little pizza ones I like to dip in marinara. You can use these for like bagels, egg sandwiches, hamburgers, or just eat them like this. Mmm, it's so good.